what do you want to say about um, mystery and secret? The, the thing I always think about when I think of Guidepost 12 Mystery Secret is Gus Fring from Breaking Bad. Uh, when that actor originally auditioned right. for that role, he only had one or two lines and he was determined to make sure that he stuck around for that show. And uh, they brought him back a couple times because he was just so interesting and so dynamic. And he's gone on record saying all he did was focus on having a secret. Right. A secret that like made him right. so interesting and unforgettable that audiences would want to see more of him. Yeah, and they and that, did. that character too is very still and very stoic, very calm and composed. And, he, and he's presenting when you're introduced to him, presenting as the, the owner or general manager of a, what was it? El Pollo Loco, a chicken fast food restaurant. Yeah. So it's like, this is who I am. But the secret he has is I'm a fucking cold blooded uh, drug meth kingpin. Was it meth? Yeah, it was meth. Yeah, right? it was meth. Yeah. Um, which is amazing. And if you watch that arc in that, you're like, wow, this is this is really cool. So there's, yeah, what's what's sort of boiling under the surface? What's a little secret there? Um, yes, then that's that is one that I don't. I have my go-to. Everyone has their go-to easy guidepost. That, oh, I always find that one, and I always find that one. And then ones that we kind of forget about. And I think that's yeah. something. And, and really what you want to do, too, is in your rehearsals, explore a guide post or two specifically in rehearsal. I'll go through the text. I'll actually go through a text and write in pencil the guide post numbers next to part and put in parenthetical and what I want to do. Or I'll like underline something and write. I like, do the same thing. Yeah, this is yeah. 11. And the thing that you can do is a lot of times people, I, I think a mistake that actors make is... They just think what's on the page rather than, oh, this is what's on the page. But then it's my job to infuse it with lots of other stuff, fill in the gaps, fill in the actions, fill in, fill in, um, fill in the performance, fill in all these choices. So I actually look at it like, what are all the possible ways I can throw in all these guideposts? Now, you might dial it back and take some of them away. You might find mm -hmm. that one of them is a little too much or that you're overplaying something. But it's it's having that eye of like, what can I make of this? What can I create? What are all the possibilities as an actor and as a creator? And I think as as artists, we um, and actors, a lot of the times we take all our personal power away sometimes by looking at a script and be like, oh, there's nothing there. Or, I don't know what to do with this. Or, ah, the writing rather than taking ownership of it and responsibility of like, Hey, I'm creative. I'm powerful. I'm, I've got great ideas. I got fun ideas. Ooh, what if it's this? Oh, what if I did that? Oh, what if I could do this thing? Ooh, that's going to be fun if I add that in there. And then you make it something and maybe it ends up being not at all the thing that the guy originally wrote it to be, mm -hmm. but then ho hopefully you can get a